What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you a review of the Puma Vela Faces Phased in this white and porcelain colorway. Today's video is brought to you by Heflux. When it comes to sneakers, comfort is king. So when you buy a pair of shoes and find out they're uncomfortable, one of the easiest ways to fix that is to swap out the insoles. So that's where Heflux comes into play. If you check out their website, which I've linked down below in the description box, you'll see they sell a variety of ETPU insoles, which pretty much is the same material you'll find inside Adidas Boost. So if you guys are curious to try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and take 15% off your entire purchase, and be sure to tell them that I sent you. So this is a recently released brand new silhouette from Puma, which is called the Vela Faces. So this silhouette is heavily inspired by the 2000s era. And the name of the shoe itself is derived by the Puma Velosis and the Puma Faces. So this pays homage to Puma's running line from that era, but it fits the modern day aesthetic from a lifestyle perspective. So it seems like for the Vela Faces silhouette, there's different lines that Puma is releasing the colorways in. So this one, for example, is under the phased umbrella. And there's others, for example, like the Bionic, which is a little bit more expensive. So I'm curious to see what other lines Puma releases under this Vela Faces name. So this pair released for a price of 120 US dollars or 170 here in Canada. The colorway for this shoe is white and porcelain. And when I was trying to find a pair online, it seems like there's only one shop in Canada that actually got these. So for a brand new silhouette, I thought the marketing, at least here in North America, was pretty underwhelming. So diving into the details of this pair, you'll see that the base layer of the sneaker is constructed out of a very unique open style mesh. So this mesh is mostly done in white, but on one side of this honeycomb shaped structure, we have a dark gray colored weave, which gives the shoe a very unique look. Overlaid on either side, we have this silver synthetic overlay, along with a black synthetic overlay right at the base. And then surrounding the front toe cap, we have more of this textured silver overlay, which gives you added durability for the front end of the sneaker. Moving downwards, covering the U-throw area of the shoe, we have this synthetic white colored leather. And then covering the mid panel of the shoe, we have the signature Puma stripe, which is done in a mix of silver, black, and turquoise. And this has a very futuristic, but at the same time, very 2000s retro style look to it. And then next to this, you can see we have more of that same open style mesh, along with another silver overlay right at the bottom edge. Covering the eyelets, we have another synthetic overlay, which is done in a mix of white and black. And then moving down next to this, we have the semi-translucent TPU layer, which is given a vintage looking aged look. And this helps give you additional structure and support for the back end of the shoe. And then underneath this, we have another synthetic overlay. And here we have Vela Faces branding found on the lateral side. And then beneath this, we have this orange colored mesh with this gray colored TPU overlay on top. And then found on the back of the shoe, we have the synthetic white overlay with the Puma logo in the center in black. So as far as the laces go, so these come with these oval shaped laces done in a mix of blue and white. So I really like the uniqueness of these laces and I thought it complemented the body of the shoe perfectly. And then underneath this, the tongue is covered in that same mesh that was found on the body of the shoe, but we have these synthetic overlays running down the center and on the top we have Puma branding in silver along with this gray color textile at the very top. But then found on the very back of the shoe on the interior, this portion of the shoe is pretty well padded and it's covered in a black colored mesh. As far as the insoles go, so these come with a very well padded polyurethane foam insole. According to Puma's website, they call this Soft Foam Plus, and you can see how the top layer of the insole has additional padding in certain targeted areas. So for example, on the heel, we have an additional layer of padding, and the forefoot area of the insole is also molded, specifically targeted to match the shape of the wearer's foot. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this full-length compression molded EVA foam midsole, which is extremely chunky. So this midsole is painted in a mix of white, turquoise, gray on the top of the heel, as well as a vibrant blue on the very bottom of the heel as well. And you can see wrapping up and covering a portion of the toe box, the black rubber extends upwards, giving you an extra layer of durability as well. And then finally, turning this pair over to the bottom. So this outsole here is constructed out of a combination of black and orange colored rubber. We have these grooves on the forefoot to give the shoe more flexibility and the white that you see underneath the black rubber and the blue that you see on the heel, this is actually just exposed EVA foam. And in the middle, we have what Puma calls their power plate. And this is a gray colored TPU shank plate essentially, which helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And for those wondering about sizing, overall they do run pretty true to size. So that's what I'd recommend. So my foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I bought these in a size 10 and they fit me nicely in a slightly snug way. 
So because my feet are a little bit wider, I can see how there could be some discomfort around this pinky toe area right here if your feet are any wider than mine. So if you have a really, really wide foot, I'd probably suggest staying away from the sneaker because in general, the length of the shoe was almost too long for my liking. So if you were to go up half size to deal with the width, then I feel like the length would be way too long. So again, going true to size in these, there is about a thumb's width between the edge of the shoe and the top of my toe. So if you have a really narrow foot and you like a really snug one-to-one -one fit, maybe it's okay to go half size down. I wouldn't really bet on it. And if anything, I'd recommend trying these on in store first if you can. Moving on to the comfort, so I'm sure this is the question a lot of you guys want answered. This is a very comfortable looking sneaker, let's be honest. And putting these on feet and walking around in them, I feel like overall they were pretty comfortable. First of all, this midsole is extremely stacked and chunky. So my initial thought was that I felt very high off the ground and it felt like a pretty clunky shoe on foot. However, the step in comfort felt pretty good. First of all, with this full length EVA foam, you feel a decent amount of softness and step in comfort. And I give kudos to Puma for giving us a very comfortable insole as well, which really elevated the experience and made it feel that much more comfortable compared to just a standard foam insole. However, comparing this, for example, to a New Balance 9060, I feel like the 9060 is a bit softer, has a bit more of a pillowy feel, whereas the Pumas feel a bit more responsive, you feel more of that energy return, and it's not nearly as soft. So it comes down to personal preference, so if you like more of a responsive, more of a bouncy feel, and something that's a bit firmer than a New Balance 9060, then I think you'll really, really like these. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and craftsmanship, so first off, material quality, let's be honest, let's call it like it is, it was pretty poor. Like you've seen throughout the review, the entire shoe is made up of synthetic materials. And I think on Puma's website, they even say that this is 100% vegan certified. So in a way this makes sense because this looks more like a performance oriented sneaker. So I'm not too surprised they didn't give us genuine leather or anything like that. And maybe for those other lines of the Velofasis model, they'll probably throw on more genuine materials, more premium leathers and suede. So I'm looking forward to see what colorways drop under that umbrella. And from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I thought it was pretty decent. The stitch job was good, there was no visible glue stains, and the paint job was solid as well. So even though we didn't get great materials, the build and how they put the shoe together was solid. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these on feet. I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. So with this being Puma's answer to the chunky casual shoe that's immensely popular these days in the sneaker community, I think this is a very solid first effort. As far as the colorway goes, I like the colorway of this shoe. It really reminds me of the 2000s, and like I mentioned before, it sort of has like a futuristic but also retro vibe at the same time. But when it comes down to it, I don't know if this is a silhouette that I can really pull off that often. Even with the 9060, it's not a personal favorite of mine, so I highly doubt that this Puma would also make it regularly into my sneaker rotation. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Puma Vela Faces in this white and porcelain colorway. What are your overall thoughts on the overall silhouette? And what are your thoughts on this colorway specifically? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.